What's going on, people? It's Mr. Back again. I hope everyone's fit and well. And yes, another podcast, another show, another signing for Nottingham Forest. Forest have signed Liverpool defender Nicky Williams for around 16.7. And yes, our sixth signing today. So people, get involved. What do you think of our new signing? If you're new to the channel, please do hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and comment below, people, how you're feeling about our new right back. Panel today, um, I'm going to start with, everyone knows this Muggers. Um, we've got the, the man himself, Des. How are you doing, Des? I'm good, I'm good. Back up to my trip. Doing, and, uh, doing how, was, how was your trip? Tell everyone, Des, how was your trip to Spain? Oh, it was brilliant, wasn't it? The result the result doesn't really matter in a pre-season friendly. Quite pleased with the first half, in all honesty. 1-1 one, one was... Um, it was all right. The, the, the new players looked all right. And then the second half was a bit of a good. But great trip, Joe. Not many from Nottingham, which, which is surprising. We, we travel well, as you know. I'm sure there'll be loads in Berlin, but um, some expats. So just had a really good trip. And just an experience ticked off, isn't it? You know, it's just one of those. Uh, just a couple of days in the sun as well. It can't be bad. But working for you as well, doing your work. <laughs> Listen, to my, let me tell you something. There's one. That, it was that's his first vlog ever, and it was fun. It was a good vlog, people. So, if, like I said, people in the comments, how do you rate Des's vlog? I thought it was good. So, if you have watched it in the comments, people, how did you rate Des's vlog? Des did the, the, ex, the, the, the extended version on his channel. So, please go and check mine. Go and check his his as well. They're both good. So, like I said, people, after this stream, go and watch it. Um, next, uh, no, don't. I, I was joking. Don't, don't, don't watch it. Um, next one we got. Uh, he's been he's been on the channel before. We have got Kazim. How you doing? More good, man. More good. Happy good. Be here. Good, good, good. And next, last but not least, we've got a Liverpool fan, and everyone knows how I feel about Liverpool. <laughs> they're, they're always there. They always bang on about this, that, and the other. Here we go. I, as everyone knows, I got loads of Liverpool fans as friends as well. So we had to get them on. Dave, how are you doing? I'm absolutely fantastic and melting at the same time here in sunny <laughs> Dublin. The weather is just ridiculous. Same in the UK as well. It's just ridiculous. I don't know where you went to Spain. It's bloody hotter than Spain over here. <laughs> so, no, so, this is Dave. Like, he, he's a YouTuber as well. As, so, before we do start, uh, Dave, tell, tell everyone about your, your YouTube channel. Uh, Dave's LFC Chats, um, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Um, it's, it's Liverpool vlogs, watch-alongs, interviews, anything goes. Even do a bit of 80s, to be honest. I'm an 80s boy. I love the 80s. And um, it's a bit of crack, a bit of fun. It's a hobby. And I love it. Yeah. Like, you, you, you said you, you took about the 80s, but Forrest took, over, Forrest took over the 80s, didn't they? Just what I tell you that. I tell you what, you boys, early 80s anyway, two European Cups. You'll want to exactly. tell Manchester City something. I know, like, like I said, like I said, when I said we're back in the Premier League, we play against these small clubs like Man City. So it is, <laughs> it, it, it is what it is. Like, yeah, still are a small club, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small club to Man City, but the big boys back in town. Um, right, we're going to start the show. Like I said before, we do the topic and let through, through the comments. Um, I got, I've got a new member. Uh, I've got Forest Ranger. Thank you for being a member to the channel, Forest Ranger. Can you email me, please, or whatever Twitter or Instagram? And say it for just just message me say I'm the new, new member. Um, and we'll get through the through the Kieran says, even Mr. Scott, even even famous dude daily, even into Lupo Harris for his supports of the team. That's a stadium that looks like a library. Dukes are all good. Listen, I've not, I've not been to Anfield, so I can't comment on that, Kieran. And but I, I I cannot wait to go to Anfield. I'm, I'm buzzing. Um, so this is to Jamie's new Reds. Uh, this is from Kev, even Reds. I've got another super chat as well. We'll be we'll be on a different team. Forest are back. Thank you very much, Andrew, for the two pound as well. Um, yeah, if you do, people, if you want to do a super chat and ask any questions to Dave about our new signing, please do a super chat and make sure you do a question as well. Um, I'm looking for the comments as well. I look for the comments. Uh, all my even store panel and chat. Uh, again from Jamie. Good evening, door there, Jamie. And cuisine, every, every, again. Uh, my good friend Albert, great job, Des. What do you mean, great Albert? Don't don't praise Des, please. I've had enough. I've had, I've, I've, I've had enough of this. I've had enough. Uh, great blog, Des. No, stop, people stop praising him. 
Stop praising Dez. I've had enough. I've had enough. Uh, you're, you're a good friend of yours, Dez. I thought your blog, Dez, was better. Listen to that. I've never, blo- <laughs> listen to D- I've never blocked no one. Do you want to be the first one to block? Shall I block? <laughs> John, how can you say that? That's disgraceful. Uh, but yeah, Jono, thank you for that. No, that's it. No, disgraceful. Uh, uh, how are you doing, Malcolm? Malcolm, I'm seeing Malcolm tomorrow for the first time. I, oh, I can't bother to see him to be fair, Malcolm. I really can't bother to see you. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm going for Edward's channel. Uh, it's good. There's even Dwight, how are you doing? Um, but yeah, right. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Right. I'm going to go through. Let me go for you, Des. New Forest's first s- s- sign in. Uh, six sign in. How are you feeling about it? Really good. It's one we was uh, quite excited about from early in the, uh, well, since early sort of in the off-season break. It's been touted, of course, there was pictures in Greece whilst he was on holiday with a certain Mr Johnson. Um, and, it, and it built up the anticipation. And, and the longer we've had to sort of think about it and look at it, of course, we've all, we all love Jed Spence. You know, we all think he's amazing. And it was a there was a thought we might have a possibility of signing him, but the longer things have gone on and, and we've started to look at what Nico Williams is and what he can do and he's experienced, you know, it, it, it kind of it almost fits in even better, doesn't it? Don't get me wrong, I'm not I'm not dissing Jed Spence because he was brilliant and he was fantastic. But the reason he was quite exciting is the club is coming for him, you know, of of course he, he he's he's a young player at a top club, he's an in, international already. You know, he's almost he's almost ticking the boxes slightly more than Spence for me. And I just think with that sort of level of signing, we're spending a lot of money. You know, seventeen million pound a player it seems at the moment, which is which is crazy money for us. I've seen a, a stat on Sky Sports today that were the fifth high spenders. You know, coming into the league, and and that we know that's what we need, isn't it? And but more than any of all that, it's it's the fact that he's a player that seems to fit into the ethos at Forest right now. A young player on a, on an upward trajectory, you know, same as the team, the manager. So you've got the players, the team, the manager, the fans almost. Everybody's pulling in the right direction. And I think he fits into that ethos of somebody who's, who's hungry, he's keen, he's, he wants to improve. Do you know, he could sit around at Liverpool, I suppose, for the next two or three years and, and try and take his chance. But it, there's a World Cup this year. He wants to go out and prove himself and play every week. Did it at Fulham. You know, we think it's a slight step up because of the nature of where we are, where we are at the moment. So I think it just it, it's just a perfect signing, isn't it? And that wing-back role, it's almost that, that position now is almost the defence sorted. You can kind of draw a line under that. I don't know if there's one, one or two more in the pipeline, but... It's almost like now we can draw a line and perhaps look at one or two other positions. 100%. Uh, before I get Dave on, I've got uh, a new member as well. Thank you. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. Thank you. For that. That's a great name. Um, if you can, can you email me or Twitter or Instagram message me and say I'm a member? Because like I said, people, if you're, <clears throat> if you're a new a member to my channel, I'm going to try and get everyone on before the season starts. So, like I said, if you are a member and you've not come on, please message me, email me, anything to get on the show before the season starts. Uh, right, uh, before we get David, I'm going to ask you, uh, Cuisine, six signing, um, we're desperate, like, Des touched on it, we needed that right back because of Jess Spence. <clears throat> how, how happy are you that we brought in there? You can just listen, he's a quality, he's a quality player. I think he's a quality player. Obviously, all of us wanted Spence to stay, me included, I'm a massive Spence fan, but Nico Williams, I'm looking at the link up between him and Brendan Johnson for Wales and what they could possibly do at Forest now. So I'm excited. Um, the only issue is how good is he going forward? I've not seen too much of him, if I'm being honest. Mm. But let's see how good he is going forward. Defensively, again, let's see how good he is. But I'm happy with it, if I'm being honest. It's just a link up with Johnson. That's what I'm looking forward to. 100%. 100%. Uh, before I get to you, I've got another member. <laughs> another member, trail. Spesh, this, this guy's a legend. I met him. He's always on the channel. Thank you for being a member of Spesh. And like I said, I think I speak to you through email anyway. So, Spesh, thank you for being a member. Right. Dave, your turn. Right. He's, he's come from your club. And as a fan, and I always like to get a fan perspective on how the players are. So, as a fan, how we know, we know he's on loan. He was at loan 
at Fulham last season, but his time at Liverpool, what was he like? Well, he's been at Liverpool since he was under nines. He's been at Liverpool since he's been his nappies. Like he's 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 basically is Liverpool. As as Des said, he's a Welsh international. He's twenty one. He's hungry. He's experienced. He has Premier League, Champions League. You know, he has all that experience at twenty one. He's been there, done that. I think you're getting a really good player. What's just under seventeen million? Seventeen million nowadays. What the hell is that? I mean, I should be his agent to be fair. But I mean, like, I mean, it's just, he's a really, really top, top player. Uh, and I think he'll do a great job for these guys. I really do. He didn't get it. He didn't get a huge amount of games for Liverpool. I think he played 33 times for Liverpool, something like that. Senior games for Liverpool. Mm. Um, but I mean, it was hard to get in ahead of Trent, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, look who was in front of him. But any time he played for Liverpool, that I've seen him play for him, he never, never let us down. So, I mean, he's still, he's still not the finished article. Of course, he's a bit more to learn and stuff. And I say he will at Forest. Um, I, I thought he was going to stay at Fulham. He had a great second half of the season with Fulham when we, we, he went out alone. He helped Fulham come up, to be fair. He was that good. Scored a few goals as well, got forward. Uh, a few assists, great cross the ball, and he can do defensive duty. So I think he's getting the, the full package, guys. 100%. Um, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll say my name, Dead and Queen, can I ask you questions, Dave. What was actually he's only played three games for Liverpool, but as a fan, what 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 from what was his strengths at Liverpool? Well, as I say, he only played a few. He only played thirty three games in a few seasons. So, um, any time I seen him, his tenacity, his energy, you have to have that at Liverpool anyway. It's intensity. You have to have that type of play to play for Klopp. You have to have that, and he has that in Spades. He does it for Wales as well. If you ever see him play for Wales, he gets forward. He can cross the ball. Like all Liverpool fullbacks, that's what you have to do. You know, you have to be a good crosser of the ball. He can shoot and he can defend at the same time. He can do it all. He's basically like a winger. And he's not a, he's not a big fella, but he's, he's tenacity. He's like a little Jack Russell around your ankles, one of those type of players that used to hate marking you. You know that type mm. of fella who won't let you, you know, get the ball off you type of thing. So, no, I, I'm actually sad to see him go. I wanted him to stay at Liverpool, to be honest. I really did, um. but I knew he wasn't going to get game time. And he needs to play football, being a Welsh international World Cups coming up and stuff like that. So for, for him, he probably needed to move and play more regularly. But I like him. I really do like him. As I say, I'm sad to see him go. But but just the tenacity and energy I think he'll bring to you guys, plus the experience will be huge. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's any questions for Dave? Yeah, so what one thing we've been sort of um, thinking about, and, and not necessarily to be utilised all the time, but um, is the left-back cover as well. It seems he plays both both sides, particularly for Wales. When I've seen him, I, I'm sure I've seen him play on the left-hand side. Is, have, have you seen much of that? Is, it, is he as effective or is it no, something... No, I like... haven't really... I think once or twice in the Cup game he filled in. I mean, he's, he's a utility player in that sense. But he is, he's a right full-back, basically, isn't he? I mean, you know, I think Forrest are buying him for being a right full. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what they're buying him for and I think that's where he'll play. Um, no, not really. Des, I, you know, I, I think he's a right fullback, basically. That, that's uh, that's kind of something I wanted to hear because I hate this thing where fullbacks get you moved, a <laughs> better fullback gets moved to the other position to weaken yeah. that. And then, do you see what I mean? And I think if he's a right back, he's a right back. And that's play your players to their strengths, Absolutely. play your players in their positions. That's, that's what, what you I'm do. Saying. And what we was guilty of with Spence was because he was doing well at right back, moving into left back, it weakened left back, and it weakens right back. It, but I'm 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 really looking forward to the link up with Brandon Johnson and and seeing what they can do that side. That was a real strength for Forest last last year, that right hand side. And I, I don't want him to be the reason I kind of asked that. I don't want him to come sort of a victim of his own success to some degree. You know, in the fact that oh, we can move him there, we can do this, we can do this. I, I love it when players get played to the strength. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you've got, to do it. you've got to do that. Uh, Cosim, any questions, Dave? Um, I'm just going to touch on how do you think he does, like linking up with the other wingers that you've had. How, how do you reckon he'll do with Johnson linking up? I know he's done it for Wales, but do you reckon he can do it for Forest as well? Well, that's his play. That's the way he plays. I mean, yeah. you know, it's all one touch. It's all link up play. He's got a mm-hmm. bit of pace about him as well. He's good on the ball. I, I don't think he'll have any problems linking up. You know. He has the Premier League experience as well. He'd be coming in there, probably showing some of the Forest players, you yeah. know, with that experience, Champions League experience and everything. 
Wales as well. I mean, he has everything, guys, at 21. I, I've no, I've no problem. I think he's got to be a huge success for you guys once he stays injury free. Do you think he'll fit Cooper's system? Obviously, we play with wing backs, so we've obviously played five other back or three other back, whatever you want to call it. So, what do you think? Yeah, no, I think he will. Yeah, if he, if he plays him in his position all the time, as right full, well, you, that, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, That's yeah. the most important, as Des said. You've got to play players to their strengths. This messing around. Liverpool yeah. do it a few times as well. They like utility players. They like Transformers yeah. from the 80s. Remember that cartoon? You could change yeah, yeah. into something else. But for me... I, I think you play the players that are strengths and you play them in the position and that's where they stay and they do a job for you. And they to get used to it, to get more, you know, to get the players around them in the positions. I just think mm. it's so important. Mm. Uh, there's 136 people in. If you, if you are new to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button if you can, please. Comment below how you feeling about our new signing. And as well, subscribe to myself, subscribe to Dez, subscribe to Dave as well. All the links are in the description below. I think Dez is on. What are you on, Dez? Subscribe-wise. 6.42. Right, people, get Dez at 6.50 by the end of the stream if you can, people. Oh, um, mean, very slowly. Yeah, people, just make sure you do this. Like I said, it's one. Um, Dez does mental health talk on the channel. So, people, if you're if you if you're suffering with mental health or any problems, go and listen to this mug because, he, like I said, he is. He does talk a loads about it and you, you've got to give credit to Dez as well. As well, make sure everyone subscribe to Dave as well. He does, he does all the little talk as well. Um, like, I've got a question for you, Dave. Right. And there's, and there's people in the chat as well. And there's what Kwasim can do, do you think Forrest have paid too much for um, Nico Williams? Because I, I personally think we did. I know he's only 21. He's got so much talent going ahead. But I think 16.5 or what it is. I personally think it's too much. But Dave, what do you, do you think? Well... If I was his agent, I'd be a happy man. But um, no, look, yeah. I, look, go and rate for an international twenty-one, an international player, Champions League, Premier League experience. Uh, I think it's about right. I mean, I, you know, okay, maybe fifteen. I, I think fifteen. When Fulham were interested, you were talking between twelve and fifteen. Forrest got involved. Probably went slightly up. But I think you're getting a player, you're getting a long-term deal player there who can hopefully help you stay in the Premier League and you'll get your money back in spades. I think 16, 17 million, I wouldn't be giving out about it. What about you, Kuzim? Do you think it's a bit, do, do, what do, you think? do you think it's the right price or a bit too much? Honestly, at the minute, I'm looking at it, I'm thinking it might be a bit too much. I don't know. The only thing I keep coming back to is you paid that much for Williams, why didn't you not put the money down for Spence? Yeah, that's, that's a I just love Jeff Spence, I'll be honest with you. But that's the only that's why I keep looking at it. I'm thinking if you really want to spence, why not put the money down? Or are they thinking is he better than is, is he better than Spence? I don't know yet, so we'll see. Mm. What about you, Des? What do you, you about to say something, Des? I right, just just about to say something on Cousin's point there. Do you, do you think with Spence that it was a I was thinking about this today. Do you think it was a straightforward decision between Forest and Spurs? And both clubs probably matched the, the thing, I don't know, but do you think they're both clubs matched and he chose Spurs? So, Forrest, just like they did with Samba, they moved on, they moved on very quickly. And, and would when you start comparing prices in that case, if you think it's too much for Williams, would you have paid 50 million for Spence? Because I think we'd have all agreed that at the end of the season, but having now come, come around to the sort of thinking of. He's probably a more all-round better player. He's got experience, you know. He's got the temperament. He's got the relationship with the players. When you start thinking about it in comparison to Spence and what you would have probably just said, yeah, he's our player. We'll take him. I think it's probably about a fair price. I think you know that it's not going to be cheap, is it, to sign these players? You know, we're not going to get them for a bargain. At the end of the day, I, I see a lot, and we're, we're in groups where people talk about. Is this too much, or like, is, is this too much, or is this too much for Morgan Gibbs White or this person? It's as much as the club wants to spend on it because it boils down to that thing. What what I've been banging the drum all year. What people say, sort of a, a little bit willy nilly. In Cooper, we trust. If them guys think that these guys are worth it, I know that Steve Cooper could, even if they're not worth it when they come, he can bring them up to that level. You know, we talk about Brennan all the time. Brennan's a fantastic talent. But without Cooper, would he have been 20 million? 
he might have been five, ten million. But playing in a winning team under, under, under who turned? Sorry, Johnny, but you, <laughs> it, it, like he, he wasn't. Like we, as, as everyone knows, Hooten said he wasn't he wasn't good enough for the Premiership, as you know. But since Cooper's come in, he's worth thirty million. That's that's my opinion. But exactly. But, but he's he's just the he's just the best example of that. But you could mm. you could say Jed Spence. You know, he wasn't worth one million when he came, and mm. then he, he goes away and he's on the verge of signing for Spurs. You can talk about other players within the team. You know, J Gar Garner. Um, Keenan Davis, these players have all played in a winning, successful team, playing with confidence, thriving on their own ability. They've all got ability, do you know. And Brennan was always going to get to the top. I'm not questioning that, but it's this thing, isn't it? If Cooper believes that these players are worth it, and then we know he makes players better, it's known throughout the game he makes players better. Even, even now, Klopp, Klopp, after this signing today, I've seen a comment where Klopp said. He's going to work with a good coach. I'm a big fan of him after the work he'd done here a couple of years ago. Do you know, so he, it, it's just all sort of working out. And I just think 17 million, do you know, we don't know whether the strikers were 15 million. We don't know whether Nia Carte's worth 12 million, whatever we pay for these. Do you know, I say it every time we come on. The beauty of football, isn't it? We, we love talking about it, but the beauty mm. of it is watching those first few games of the season. Mm. And making your mind up and going, wow, we've got a real talent here, you know, or ooh, I'm not sure about that one. Because one one thing is for sure, not every single one of those signings already we've made six. There'll yeah. be a flop in there. There'll be a flop. I can assure yeah. you. And mm. and I don't want there to be because I want us to carry on this thing. And even with what I believe about Cooper making players better, there will be somebody who just it just doesn't happen for, you know, because yeah. that's football, isn't it? It happens at Liverpool. It happens at Man United. It happens. You just at don't know when you when you spend money, big money on a player. It's you're buying potential. You're buying what you've seen. The managers, the scouts, whatever the owners, they're not going to put down seventeen million on the table unless they want that player. They think he's good enough or think he's going to be a success. But there's no guarantees in football or in life. I mean, anybody you sign might not work out. Liverpool have done it for loads of times. You have done it. Every team has done it. But I just think you're buying potential. And in Nico Williams, I think. What I've seen of him, I think you have a better chance of turning out to be a 17 million plus player than you don't have. I think you, you, you're you on the right side with him. I really do. Mm. There's 149 people in. Uh, thank you everyone for taking part and watching this. If you can, please do hit the like button if you can. Subscribe to myself, Des, and Dave if you, if you can as well. And as, as well, we signed Nicky Williams from Liverpool for the, no, I think it's a joint record as well for 16.5 million. Right. Um, Dave, last but not least, Dave, as you know, we're far to back in the Premier League. I've been, like I said, I, I, Dave, Dave mentioned before we start on the, on the stop before we started, my hatred towards Liverpool is just next level. Like, <laughs> I don't I don't care about Derby anymore because they're doing, they're doing League One, so they're, they're, I don't care. But I thought it would have been Leicester City, no? Don't care about them. Just, just, just like an, an, another annoying sister, just want to play with us. Nah. Get that, um, Dave. How excited! Like I said, we talk about the rivalry in the nineteen eighties, the back in the Premier League. How excited are you that Forest are back in the Premier League? I'm excited. Um, I've actually been at the City Ground, um, great old English uh, footballing ground. Um, great memories. I was about twenty three years ago, but I'm an, I'm older than I look. I remember City. I remember Forest in the eighties, even in early seventies, the well, late late seventies. Uh, but um. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys have a good season. It's it's a tough league. It's a tough league to even stay in. I mean, I'm going to ask the three yous before I go, where do you think Forrest will finish? I'm sure I don't know whether he's going to answer that question or not, but you know what, what I mean? At, at the end of the show, I'll, I'll tell Cousin and Des where we'll finish at the end of the show. I'm not saying it now. I'm not okay. saying it now. But well, listen, wait, wait, wait. I hope you stay up. I think, he's, I think he's under Steve Cooper, of course. I think he's a good manager. He's a great fan base. He have a nice, great stadium. You've six signings. You might make another one or two, maybe. I don't know. I think Nico Williams has really brought you on a level. I think you have a great chance of staying up. And I think just build. Don't be saying this mid-table, top four on it is crap. Just build. It's about getting into the league, tasting it, and not leaving the restaurant table for next year, baby. <laughs> what George was said. Right, David, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for coming to town. Make sure everyone said... David's um, YouTube channel is in the link in the description. Make sure you go and subscribe 
to his channel. Dave, it's been a pleasure. Hopefully, I'll get you back on when we play against you a lot. Because, like I said, I, I can't wait to play against Liverpool. I'm excited. I want to be. I want to beat him. I really want to beat him because <laughs> last time we played. Dave, thank you very much, Dave. It's been a pleasure. Thanks, Dave. Cheers. Cheers, Dave. Dave. Cheers. Right, so that's Dave. Uh, make sure everyone just go and subscribe to his channel. Um, right, let's get back to the crux of the show. Um, I'm going to start with you. We're going to start with you, uh, Cuisine. I'm going to get to after this. Um, as well, people in the comment section, get involved. Like I said, we've brought in six players now. Mm. And who is your best player that we've brought in so far as well, people? I'm going to ask Des, ask Cuisine. People in the, in, the, in the comments, get involved. Who is your best player that you think folks have brought in? Uh, so, Cuisine, who do you think for, the best players that Forrest have brought so far? I'd have to say Williams. The only reason I've not seen the rest of them play, Bar Henderson and Williams, I've not seen the rest of them play before. I've not heard of them, not seen them play, so I can't give you what I know, so Williams. Williams? Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, Mr. Duke Daly? Um, again, pretty, pretty much along those lines, this, this, this was the one that excited us, wasn't it? So, when, when this name come about a few weeks ago, we all thought, wow, for all the reasons we've already talk, spoken about, you know, it, it's the one we can relate to. But I think there's some good good prospects in, in, in the other signings. You know, I mentioned that they might not all make it. I hope they do. But I, just the one that the one that really intrigues me is um, Nia Carte. I mentioned it in the vlog. Um because Steve Cooper's worked with him before, um, and and there's that link with Liverpool and Mines through Klopp and things like that. It's obviously highly thought of, and getting somebody he was, he, I'm right believing he was the captain at Mines, wasn't he? Yeah. Yep. So so that one that was that's the one I'm really, in many ways, hoping is a real success, considering how much we spent on on him, and we also. We, we love our back three as it is. So if somebody's going to come in and make it better, you know they've, they've got to be good. And and I'm hoping he does that. And and again, just Tyro up front. I, I I like what I saw on Friday from Tyro. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, 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 you went you went to people. If, if no one knows, Des went to the game on um. Well, what day was Des? Was it Saturday? Friday. 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 So Des went to the game on Friday. Like. Just explain to me, like I know it's for forty one minutes. What 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 players are, should should Forest should be looking forward to watch? I know it's friendly, but we all, uh, yeah. uh, so in the first half they basically played uh, a team, almost a first team with with a few notable ad admissions like McKenna didn't play <laughs> because of international stuff. Um, Nico Williams wasn't about obviously, so Bria Coley played at right right wing back, and then it was. It was just the usual ones. Lyle Taylor played at front, um, which was interesting because um, mm. he played really well, to be honest. <laughs> you know, it, it was quite interesting to see that. But the, I like the way Tyro grew into the game. You know, it was hot on Friday and there was a lot going on and there was lots of breaks and stoppages. But he was a massive part in the goal, you know, and, and a driving run from Ryan Yates kind of created something where he had to back in and hold the ball off. And he laid it off for the guy who then put one in the bottom corner. So without anybody really sort of excelling in that game as such, Boris was just growing into it. Half time whistle went, they shook hands. Everybody shook hands knowing they weren't coming out for the second half, you know, it was going to be a completely different team. So I just think you, you couldn't tell too much from that game, but just again, it's that thing about starting to build a picture up, isn't it? You know, the the, the right wing back looked good to be fair. Do you know the French guy? Balcony. Balcony. Yeah, Brian Coney, is it, or something like that? Balcony, yeah, Balcony, something like that, yeah. Balcony, I think, yes. Balcony, yeah, that's it. He, like that. he had a good, he had a, without the goal, he had he had a decent game. You know, I thought Yates, he do, did what Yates, he does. You know, mm. but then the opposition one wasn't what they're going to be playing. So, you can't read too much from it. But again, I'm just looking forward to seeing Tyrell because... Because again, they spent a lot of money on him, haven't they? And it doesn't look like Lyle's going to be around. Graben's gone. Davis is not there. Do you know, so there's going to be a lot pinned on him, a, a lot of hope pinned on him at the start of the season. So hopefully he can hit the ground running. But we know with Cooper and, and the way Davis came without that goal scoring reputation, 
It might mm. not all be about goals with Tyro. You know, mm. it, on on Friday he showed that he could lay, he could hold up the play. He laid it off. He looked strong. You know, interestingly, he he, he played off the right hand side. I don't know if that's because Taylor was playing as well. But mm. whereas Davis used to play off the left hand side, didn't he? Yeah. Tyro kind of played off the right hand side in that game, and it it was just interesting to see. But yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to those two guys. You know, Nia Carter and Tyro. Kind of know what you're getting from Henderson. You know he's going to be a great shot stopper. Didn't do fantastically well for the cold, to be honest. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, no. But then, but and then with Nico Williams, I just remember the game against Fulham where he's flooding down that line and a couple of Wales games. I've probably seen him play more for Wales. So yeah, really looking forward to all these guys, to be honest, and, and seeing how they get on and possibly one or two more door. <laughs> um, before I get Chris Eamon, I know I saw in the comments uh, the left back Leone, Nicholas Leone. Oh um, yeah. Who else? Who else? Who else was there? Um, Leone. Um, you mentioned Taylor. Uh, so I forgot, mention, I forgot to mention. I I know is his name. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I, I, I forgot to mention him. Do you know what? He did well. He did decent. He, he, he kind of forged a, a little bit of a link up with with um, Nia Carte, with Taylor and Coldback sort of coming that way as he as he tends to do from midfield. Do you know, I thought he did really well. It looks like he, he he's kind of he's kind of a driving force going forward. And I wouldn't, you know, if if we sign a a left back, well, we have signed a left back, haven't we? We've signed Omar Richards, which we we, we barely mentioned. I know, we haven't, we haven't spoken about him, have we? <laughs> if he becomes first choice, you know, I'm not saying he's, he's <laughs> one, one friendly I've seen, but he, did, he never looked that bad before, did he? He didn't look shocking. And and again, he, he whipped a ball in for Lyle Taylor, which would have done them, if Taylor had converted it, it would have done them both the world of good. So, yeah, he had a, he had a, a fair game, uh, I think, based on the fact he was pre-season, it was red up. And and it was tough out there. I think he, he did okay. Mm. If people, if, as I said, I mentioned before the show, if you just come on, Des was there. He did a vlog. So make sure people go and watch. It was, it's on my channel. It's on Des's channel as well. The X, X, the more, the better version. Des, Des is one. I think it's better than mine, to be fair. Um, All the goals in. But yeah. I gave you right. the goals. I gave right. Right, let me let me tell you right. Dad, De- like I said, he sent me he sent me all the the clips right, but there was in different order. So it was a pain in the ass putting them in, in order. It took me like an hour just getting them putting them in order, but I missed some stuff when I look when I look back on it. But like I said, people go and watch it. It was, it was a great it was a great vlog on mine on Des as well. So like I said, after the show, people go and watch the Des vlog and as well subscribe to Des's channel as well if you if you haven't. Why haven't you? Um, as well, well, let me you, just say. Make sure you subscribe to Door. Make sure you support it as much as you can because on Friday, I realised how much hard work it is. I do little vlogs anyway, but all those clips, trying to send them back from Spain. You know, I was sat on my phone in the pub all night sending clips and I realised how much hard work goes into it. So this guy gave me an opportunity there. 2,000 people have watched it on his channel and 80 on mine. So please get over and support it. People, like I go on, go on, like I say, go on, support it. It was his first time. And I said, I said, Des said to me, I'm going to Spain. So I vlog it if you want to. And looking back on it, it was good. So, like I said, Des, like I said there is going to be times that Des might want to do it from his side of view when we're at the sit ground as well. So, people in the comments, do you want Des to do another vlog? Because I know. Des, you're there tomorrow, aren't you, Des, at Burton? I am, yeah. Right, people in the comments, are you going to Burton? I'm back, people. I'm back with the vlogs. I can't, I'm excited. I can't wait. Because where are you going? Not tomorrow, no. Oh, that's shocking behaviour. That is shocking behaviour. You're shocking. People in the comments, are you going to Burton? I'm, if, if, you, if you are, I've got a new toy to play with. If you don't know, I've got my new toy. New toy. New toy. If you know, if, if you know, you know. Um, but yeah, um, I'm excited. I cannot wait. I think it's it's it's, 20, it's 20, 22 something days now to the first game against Newcastle. I can't, I can't wait. People in the comments, are you excited? How excited are you for the first game of the season? Um, right. We're gonna talk about uh, there's some transfer talk as well. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get for you. I don't, I don't know if you even knows this Brazilian guy. I saw the comments. It's this Brazilian dude. I'm, 
what I'm hearing, right? I don't know, I don't know if Dad knows as well. This player, I, I, why, do you know his name? Is, want, he need, is he not linked to Olympiacos? Is that one you're on about? I'm confused. I'm, I'm baffled. I'm baffled. So all I'm hearing is he's going to Olympiacos on mm. loan and then he's coming to Forest. But that's... I'm confused. I'm, I'm baffled. I've looked on... I, I, I was speaking to... A Brazilian fan messaged me out, out of nowhere. I, I, I was like thinking, what? Saying that he's going to be a good sign for Forest. He's more of a a winger, a more right foot winger, and he can score goals. That's that's me. That's me. That's, 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 that's Scapio. That's it. Scapio. And look, I'm going to ask you, Cousin. And there's all people in the comments as well. Get involved. Forest have brought six players in. Mm-hmm. How many players do you think that we need to compete in the Premier League? As well, people get a, get in the comments, people. How many players do we need to compete in the Premier League? Cousin, how many players do we need to compete? Uh, I said when we got promoted, we can't do a Fulham and bring in loads of players, but <coughs> we're going to have to. I think we need another five, if I'm being honest. Five? Another four or five, if I'm being honest. We still need a keeper. Definitely a keeper. I think we need another midfielder, maybe two. Yeah. I think Attacking I, I, yeah. midfielder. Bloody hell. Okay. And the striker. If Grabner's not going to stay, we need a striker now. So, so, so we need, so we need another, another 11 players then? Because <laughs> 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 so he was saying we need, we need basically a whole new team. That's, That's what not I'm what I'm saying. saying. You say, I'm not saying that. Well, I kind so, of am so, saying that. You're not, no, no. So, so how, how many players do you think now? I know. We need another four or five. We're so light in midfield, and that's the one area where I feel we are going to struggle okay. if we don't get the players in. Right, so before I get Des, I know Des, I know Des I, we'll, see, we'll see a few more. Uh, Chris says four, um, Gary says six or seven. So, Gary, you would say that. You're just bellend. Uh, four, at least two centimetres and two attacking midfielders. Uh, Tony says eight. Eight players. What the hell? Uh, Chopper says five. Deep Pooh says twelve. You, you've been drinking, Dave. Um, six, six from Clifford. You've been drinking as well, Shut Shane. Um, there's how, how many players do you think there's we need to, to compete with the league? I think we now. Let me just say to put it into context. At the end of the season, I said if we're going to spend money and good money. We've got to buy better than we've already got. Yeah. I think we've spoke about Williams and Spence <laughs> and Anderson and, and um, Sambo and perhaps Nia Carte. Who's he going to replace? That's the question. So we need to, if we're spending money, let's not get down the old forest way of spending money on journeymen or foreigners that have been tatted in front of our noses and end up being rubbish. So... On that basis, I think we need three more quality signings. I think we need three more players that are, are better than what we've got. Yeah. You know, it might bring more out of the players within the team. <coughs> I think we definitely need a premiership level centre midfielder. You know, we all love Ryan Yates. I, I think he's got the game to do it. You know, he's one of those mm. players. And again, he, he seems to have done well the other day, but... He's untested, and it's as simple as that. And what we need is a confident Ryan Yates. We don't want somebody a little bit who starts off is struggling. If that's the case, you know, with him and Cole back in there, they could potentially get overrun. I love them both. You know, I've always been a massive Coleback fan. But mm. I think we need a real good Premiership experience player. And you know the name I've, I've mentioned quite a lot. You know, Sander Berg is the one. I, mm. I think he's an absolute beast of a player. And, and again, would fit into the what's going on around the team. I'd love to see a sign Morgan Gibbs-White as well. It's predictable mm. now. And again, there's a lot of talk about money and if he's worth it. Well, 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 there's, 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 let me say something, right? I've seen it. I saw it on Twitter. Twitter goes mad. And I'm going to ask you, Des. And people in the comments get involved as well. How much would you pay for Gibbs White? Because I saw people saying 20 million, 25 million, 30 million, blah, blah, blah. That's how much would you pay? I personally, I, I'll say 
because he's English. Well, because English, these in, your English players all cost a lot, and now because we're in the Premier League, it's, it's going to cost an arm and a leg. So, Des, first, first, let me ask you, Des and Cousin, how much would you pay to give White? I won't pay anything because I've got no money, door. <laughs> you, you know what? And I know this sounds like the easy way out. And, and for me, 20 sounds enough, do you know? And if we're being realistic, 20 million. But again, it boils down to what the club want to do. If the club mm. think he's worth pursuing, it is a bit frustrating that every time someone mentions Morgan Gibbs White, his, his value goes up 5 million. Yeah. Uh, and Wolves are obviously playing hardball now because... His contract is he's not signing the contract, is he? No. Um, but again, it, it, it boils down to what the club want to pay and what they think he's worth and if he's worth pursuing. What I know of Morgan Gibbs White and the fact that we've not currently got a number 10, you know, we've on the face of it, we've lost Garner, we've lost Zinkenagel. Um, that guy would fit into this team like a glove. That, that's mm. the key thing in all this. Just like I think Nico Williams will look right back. Just like I think Berg would uh, in centre midfield, I think Morgan Gibbs White would be an absolute beast of a player. He would complement Brennan Johnson, who's a star player anyway. You know, they, 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 they form relationships all over the field. I just think he's worth, if the club feel he's worth it, just go all out and get him. And if we do get him and we're beating Everton and Crystal Palace, it's another massive statement of intent, isn't it? That the club's not to be messed about with anymore. We mean business. And again, that doesn't mean... I, I know the club won't get stupid about it because mm. they've shown we've spent since Sambo, as we keep saying. They're not to be messed about with. But if they if they really want him, if they think he's the one... Do you know, I, I'm i just seeing the comment from Gary at the bottom where he said Morgan mm. and Sander Berg would be fantastic. If we could get them for 60 million, I'd do it now and stop stop buying. Because I just think, whilst I said three before, I do think we probably need one more striker out and outside. Yeah. Mm. But that's, that, then you're talking 90 million to get better than what we've got. You know, so I think those two would be, I, I'd just shut, shut the window and think, well, if we, if we can't stay up with this team, you know, then the Premier League's, a lot tougher than we we even expected after all this time. Mm. What do you think? What about you, Cosim? I pick twenty five to be honest. Twenty five max on Gibbs. What I'm a massive fan. Um, he play, he, he, has he played? Has he played the Premier League? Has he played? Here there, if I'm being honest, here and there, but not much with Wolves. Mm. Um, obviously, he was on loan only last season and the season before, but. I'm just going off of last season, especially I thought he tore it's up. Good. He, always, he always goes past Forest every it's single time. Joe, yeah. Joe, how much is Bernie Johnson worth? Yeah, that's a good point. In this market, I'll say 30 million. Is Bernie Johnson better than Morgan Gibbs White? They're both different. They play both, both different. different. Just, just sort of hypothetically. Oh, okay. I'm not um, saying, but... Yeah. I... I, I um, Mark Gibbs White, sorry, Tono. I think he's stronger than Brennan because because when you play that number ten role, that, that number ten role, you've got to be strong. And I personally think we're seeing. Like, I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, Gibbs White. I mean, I saw him play. He played for Wolves in that FA Cup game when he scored past us, Sheffield United as well. And uh, he's a good player, but, but we need that number ten. And do I think Gibbs White can is the man? Well, my point is there: if John is worth thirty, and you think they're the same of, of the same ability, that answers your question, doesn't it? Mm. You, you'd pay thirty million for Gibbs White because if you're saying other clubs should be coming in and bidding that if they want Johnson, yeah, do, do you see what I mean? It's easy. Yeah, to, I know what you mean. I mean yeah, it's a lot of money. We keep breaking mm. our record, but if if it's going to make that much difference to the team which I think it would it would make Brennan Johnson a 40 million pound player straight away yeah. you know they'd both be worth 40 million I think next year 100% 100% and I think that's the that's what I saw on social media like I said with getting Gibbs White I think said we need that number 10 because who can play that number 10 we've got we can play Joe Lolly Desis Fake Guy Cafu I don't think are they, are, they, are they ready for the Premier League I don't want to say no I don't I don't say no we don't, we don't know. But look how Sheffield United played. 
they, they were the dirtiest team that I ever played. The first time they got promoted, the first season they got back, the finish, I think, the first seventh or eighth. And you never know, but it is what it is. Um, we've got over 15 minutes, and what I'm going to do, um, Desi Green, do you think we should get people in? If you want to. If right, you want. right. So it's only right. People, the people who hadn't, I repeat, who hasn't been on the channel before, click on the link because I know the season is not far now and I'm, I'm trying to get different guests on. So if, if you haven't been on this show before, if you haven't, please link, click on the link. Because like I said, I, I, I'm trying to, to get a different opinion. Des might actually want to ask you questions because he might not ask you questions as well. And if you listen, people, if you haven't been on the show, and then if I see at the bottom of the screen and you have, I'm not trying to be disrespectful at all. I'm not going to click on your link because I'm trying to get different people on the show. So if, if you haven't been on the show, click on the link and we'll see about your opinion. Um, oh, door, there was just a question I'd like to answer from what from the comments. Where's that? Somebody put about um, where would Yates Super Yates play if we signed Sander Berg? Uh, where is it? it? Come in. It was just after what I said about. I oh, this one from Forest Ham. Yeah. So basically, what what I think there is, I don't think. Uh, and again, it was my favourite player for a good few seasons at Forest, and still is to, to, to much degree. Colback is probably not the one. You know, Colback would be the one who who Berg takes over from in my mind, or or that midfielder. I think Colback will be great in the squad. Again, that versatility. Um, of, of what he does at times. But I just think, you know, in the Premier League, two years out, having not quite <coughs> made the cut then, you know, he couldn't come to Forest for a reason, didn't he? You know, initially. And I think he just might be the one who, who we might look to improve on. He, he's the most sort of... He, he's the tough guy in there, isn't he? The one running around being busy. Um mm. At times, Yates has got a different type of game. And I think Yates has got the ability to do it. But it's almost that number, the old number eight, I guess. You know, just sort of running around, getting on top of them, you know. And I think Berg is a much more, he's much more athletic. You know, his build, his, his, his structure. I think he'd be the one to replace Colback. And I'd start with Yates. So it'd be Yates, Berg and a number 10. Mm. Um. Right, people. Let's say that. I'm trying to get people get people on the show. Uh, I think there's one Keenan. I can't see your face properly. Right. Keep your thumbs up. Keep your thumbs up. Yeah, Keenan. You all right? Hey, Dad. I'm not bad, you. I'm not too bad. How excited are you? How excited are you to the new season? Oh, I'm amazed. I'm amazed. I can't wait. I can't wait. As a young lad, never been in the yeah. Premier League. Like I said, are you buzzing for the, all, all the games? Yeah, hopefully I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get as many as I can, but it'd be hard. What games are you looking forward to? Um, definitely Leicester. Definitely. Why Leicester? I know it's not really a rivalry, but it's they call it a rivalry, don't they? So yeah, maybe um, to beat them. We brought in six players in. What player are, are you excited that Forrest have brought in? Um, I'd say Omar Richards, to be honest. Omar Richards? Yeah. Okay, I've, back up. With his experience with Bayern and all the coaching that they have, I reckon, under Cooper, it'd be amazing. Um, last but not least, I don't know if Des or Cousin wants to ask you any questions. Where, where do you think Forrest will finish in the league? Um, I'm going to say 13th. 13th? Yeah. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Where are you from, Keenan? Elkston. Bloody hell. Oh, close to Derby. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, Keenan, thank you very much for coming on. Uh, uh, you got your first cup on? Yeah. Loving it. Loving it. Right, Keenan, thank you for coming on, Keenan. Cheers. You Cheers, Reds. Cheers, dude. Cheers, dude. You Reds. Uh, what people say, if you want to come on the show, please do. We've got, we've got no more time to, to go. We've got another... Uh, 10 minutes. Um, Des, I'm seven, I know said you went to Spain and um, we're going to talk about like players like I said, um, I know this player gets so much stick. I know people like Smith, all these fish players and Des, be honest, what, what player 
we, we, how, many players, how many players do you think we need to move on after what I've seen the game? Oh, I, I think that I think there'll be a few to be honest. Though I think once our business is is done, you know, I think you'll see perhaps Lyle Taylor, a Hader. You know, I can't see him. Really? Yeah, I can't see him being part of it. Um, he. he don't get me wrong, Coventry. Let, let's not forget Coventry were a good side last year for much of the season, and they ran out of steam. It, it, it is a bit of a tip for anybody watching: get get behind Coventry because they've not got a bad side. It just ran out. But I was watching. Now I was realizing we're Premier League. You know we've got to be so much better. And that second string they put on in the in the second half, it just kind of shown. You know that. It's not got that guy or it's not got that cutting edge. You know, I'm, I'm a massive fan of Kofu. And I'd love him to stick around for, for different reasons. But is he going to cut it? Do you know, Kafu, Ojeda, the guy who played on the wing, De Costa, you know. There's those players, I just... I just I, and, and the two centre-backs, people talk about Mbiso and, and Panzo saying I like them. And, and I've got no reason to dislike them. But I just think they're not good enough. They're not good enough. They got caught badly. You know, Coventry learned within two minutes of the second half to put that ball over the top and they was they were struggling. And all they did was wave wave on wave of attack and they were caught under the ball, you know, they weren't weren't the comfortable <laughs> they seemed to play too high up the pitch. Again, I don't know whether that's down to tactics or not. But I just thought there was a lot of that second eleven that won't play. I'd expect, I'd expect six or seven to leave as well. I really would, and then perhaps one or two on loan. We've seen Tyrese Fournay, you know, go to go to Reading. I'd probably expect, um, what's his name, Mighton, you know, mm. to, to get a loan move. I think it's that that point in his career. Larrier, he didn't even feature, did he? I'm, I'm not sure you featured on No, that. I think I think because it's one from and, and I'll answer this. How you doing, Albert? I need you on my show before the season finishes. Get this guy's a legend. So, uh, um, but I think there's any idea Loretta was at the time. He, he's been on international duty. He come back. He come back today. So we, we, we're going to see him tomorrow at the Burton game. I'll be there. I'll be there. So if anyone's going today, get on the vlog. I'm not going to see. His Predictions and I'll see about how you feel about forces season so far. So, people, if you do want to if you see me, if you see this mug as well at Burton away, please get to us. Talk about Forest. There's one there, though, about Tyler Walker. I think it's an interesting. I know he's not our player, but it's interesting. Where's that? Um, so says, what about is it Stan? Stan, yep. I, oh, I can, I can, yeah, Walker, yeah. <laughs> Coventry fans really enjoyed the second half when Tyler Walker got two goals. They were singing, uh, he left because you're shit. <laughs> <laughs> Which I was having a bit of banter about on the vlog. But I, I, Tyler Walker, when he gets presented chances like that, you know, he's going to score goals. And I think he's he, he's always been that kind of player, hasn't he? He's always been he's always been decent, but he's, he's a confident player as well, isn't he? And I think that game the other day, they've been right up for it. They got in behind. He's a finisher. He's a finisher. He did it for Mansfield. He did it for Lincoln. But he's got to be playing in a team that creates him a lot of chances. So, if, mm. if Coventry did have a good season, I could imagine Tyler Walker having a good season. If it, if it's not quite, I can't imagine him being the guy to grab it by the scruff of the neck. I've seen... I was on a Coventry um, podcast before the game and they, they, even they said to me, he, he thinks he'll go, but he, he went on loan to Portsmouth at the end of last season. So they they said well, he, had, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't be at Coventry. But if it's going to go past Forest, I know it's a friendly game. He can't. The fans around me was was a bit sort of non-committal on him. They said he's he's like when, he, when he's scoring goals, you know, you can't tell, the way he finishes. He finishes well. He took both goals really well on Saturday. But again, mm. it's that thing. He's too inconsistent. What about, what, what about you, because like I said, Walker, I, I felt sorry for, for him because he went, he went a lot to Lincoln, he did, he did fantastic, didn't really play much on the Samba Lamucci, but he, do you think Foster kept him? I did like him, I thought he was a decent striker, but 
to start week in week out, I don't I don't think he had it. If I'm being honest, maybe Coventry might be the right team for him. I don't know. So we'll see with him. I'm not sure, but I was wishing the best. Not really, because I do like him. Mm, um, right before we do close, obviously, obviously the chat. Oh, this is from uh, Forest Dan. We all Premier League, but baby, we had I had to do it. You, you always got to do it, Forest Dan. <laughs> Shout out, thank you for the two pound, Forest Dan. Um, I'm going to do the comments before we do. Um, can can Lorella play in midfield? No, he can't. He's, he's, he's a more of a, he's more of a winger. So. Uh, but yeah, uh, right. Um, oh, yeah, guest one, uh, David, David Paul. I know who David Paul is. Here we he is. Here we go. Hi, you, David. I'm very well, Mr. Door. Good evening, everybody. How are you? You good? I'm all good. I'm excited, Dave. How, how, how excited are you for, the, for the, new, the Premier League season? Oh, mate, I'm a 13 out of 10 excited. I mean, it's like 23 years. I wasn't, I didn't even know my wife. I've got a kid. You know, I mean, I've got married this century, right? This century. Yeah. My wife's looking at me going, I've never seen you interact with football in any way like this before. What, what, who is this David? I don't know you. I'm like, no, this is the real David. You know, this is like the, the Neil Webb, Steve Hodge, Nigel Clough. So, sort of oh, like so, so, you're married, so you're married? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've um, I, 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 I threw a wedding sack over her a little bit like Borat did. I could, I could, I, you know what? If you get married again, Dave, don't get married in, in the football season. In the football <laughs> season, yeah. Mate, the, day, the day I got married, Andy Cole what? signed for us fourteen years ago on July the fifth. Yeah, was it? Was it? Was it? Did we play a game that day? No, well, Andy <laughs> Cole. We didn't. We didn't play a game that day. No. We, we, oh no, 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 no. All, all day, but so, someone's playing. Someone's getting married while we, while we're playing a game. I, I don't know. I don't want to mention no names. So, yeah, someone's getting married while I play the game, but I don't want to throw him under the bus. How can you do that? I don't know. He's just an idiot. He's a full-on idiot. But, yeah, I'm not going to mention who it is, David. You, you, yeah, that, per, on. that person has not got charged on the me. family calendar. Yeah, he's, just, yeah, he's got no morals. All he, all he thinks about is marriage. Do you, know, just... do you know what? Shut up, Thor. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what, Dave? This is how it works. We, we, we plan the day for the international weekend as it is every season. <laughs> It's the 3rd of September. It's always the international weekend. <laughs> and then, then we realise that the calendar's messed up because of the World Cup. <laughs> but the international break is now three weeks later. Yeah. People, wait, wait, you... wait, about to get him married? Do, no, 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 you don't, well, you don't... This is why we've invited Daw so he can keep us in the loop. <laughs> <laughs> um, David, like I said, it's been 23 years. Um, how, how, like I said, how excited? Like I said, we're back in the Premier League. We've got Steve Cooper, we've got, we've got the new signings. Are you buzzing for the first game uh, Newcastle away? Yeah, and I've got a mate who lives around the corner who's a Newcastle fan, so we're going to have a barbecue at his, um, which would be pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm so excited. I mean, it's we've all been playing football manager, haven't we, for the last twenty three years? Just yes. dreaming, and, and now it's like, yeah, let's go and splash seventeen on Williams. That's not a problem. I'll tell you what, let's go and get the checkbook out. I'm going to spend thirty on Gibbs White. What the heck, you know? We deserve it. It's like two o'clock in the morning. You want another couple of drinks, isn't it? Okay, let's go and do it. Yeah. Right, and, and let's go and get Brereton back as well because he can do it at this level. Oh, um, don't mention don't mention Brereton on the stream. There's quite a few people that I'm not a fan of him. I know. Someone called Malcolm Owen is not a fan of Ben Brereton, but it's it don't well no wrong. Ben Brereton Diaz. That's his yeah. name. Um BBD. Um Dave, last but not least, like at this moment of time, yes, where do you think for, where do you think Forest will finish? Right. On September the twenty first last year, when we appointed Steve Cooper, I went on Radio Nottingham and I said something and the internet laughed and they were right. I said that we would finish sixth. And they left because yeah. we finished fourth. I'm going to tell you that we're going to finish top six again this season with the right recruitment because Steve Cooper looks after these players like nobody else. They love him. They absolutely love him. They'll do anything for him. They, he, 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 he's going to get 120% out of these players. And you're going to see something at Forest that we haven't seen for years where players completely and totally overperform. And, and if you're thinking, David, that's really far-fetched, 
Leicester did something similar a few years ago and their setup is not as good as ours. We, we were a really, really, really hot team. Only got a few more players, a little bit of luck with injuries, we'll be top six, I promise you. So Dave is saying top six. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This, this, this is going to be clipped. Absolutely clipped. Dave Clip thinks, there. people in the comments, do you think Dave is deluded or do you think he's think, yeah. Oh, I'm deluded. My wife will tell you that. But I mean, come on, let's look, look, look at the teams out there. Who finished Who finished fifth, sixth, and seventh this year in the in the prem? I mean, I don't know. They've looked at the championship for the last couple of years. The usual, the usual teams. But I, I, I mentioned um, Sheffield like, Chef United. They finished seventh or eighth. Yeah, didn't Wolves do the same? Right, Wolves did the same as well. Right, so we was... turned over. We turned over Arsenal. Right, we we turned over Leicester. We could have turned over Liverpool. Right, that was that was that was only six months ago, and that was with a new team with loan signings, not as good as the team that we've got today. Okay, so people are coming. Do you agree with Dave? Nobody's going to agree with me. I'm not. No, no, no. But you might just right, 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 Dave, right, Dave. Let me tell you something. Right, I don't know if you know Ellie, if, and if no one's watching this, she said before it was before December. She said Forest will finish fourth. And everyone laughed at her. Good shout. Everyone laughed at her. Even I laughed at her. And now look what happened. When did I do huh? what, When did I say we'd get into the top six? Never. When we you got beat by Fulham 4 0. Listen to me, I'm not, listen to me people. I don't, people know that I don't give their, their credits. I'm not giving them credit. There's no need for Obviously it. Not. I, won't, I don't give their credit. I don't give the credit. Um, Christine, do you think six? Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> No, <laughs> that's all right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but no, no. You have to. We have to look at our team in a in a different way. And what happened is right when Cooper came in last year, he set them targets and he gave them believable targets that we can go for, and that's what he's going to do again. And if you look at the way that Cooper manages players, it, it is so different to anybody else. I mean, I've been looking at Ten Hag today, saying. Oh yeah, I'm Mr. Discipline. Look at me. I'll flex my muscles and I'll find people who don't turn up. Well, what do we see it as? We see Cooper giving Neko Williams a massive hug. Players love him. We've got the style, we've got the strategy, we've got the pace. We'll play down the wings. We'll bring in some more players. Quasim, you mentioned earlier about the centre midfield. You're absolutely right, mate. We need we need to double up on that. We we're not, we're nowhere near strong enough, and we're not strong enough in number eight. We need. Another two centre midfielders. We need another ten, and we we need, we need another striker. Minimum. So, so, so you, so you think we'll finish six, right? Yeah, we will. Okay, so do we think we'll finish six? <laughs> Don't hate me if you finish fifth, right? But we'll listen, about clip it. Listen, right? I'll clip this. I will clip it. So don't worry about it. If, if no, I'm not doing a bet, no, I'm not doing a bet. There's no chance. I don't bet. I never bet on Forest. I learned that lesson a long time. I never bet. Uh, right, Dave, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for coming on. Dave, where, where, where are you, David? Where, where about are you? Uh, I live in Cognac in France. Oh, okay. Wicked. Wicked. Look, thanks so much for all the work you do, Jen. So I appreciate you lot family time to give up. So, so oh, thank you. thank you. Thank you, Dave. Um, yeah, much, thank you very much, Dave, for, for taking your time and watching this. Good night, all of you. Take care. Yeah, dude. Thank you very Thank you very much. Day. So that's Dave. Thank you very much, Dave. Uh, we'll go through the comments before we do leave. Uh, thank you for the, the super chat. Forest Dan, I raised you another uh, £2.99, so £4.49 as well for that. Thank you very much. Good for the comments as well. Um, I'll raise that comment I've just seen. Dead will know this one. And te Technically, right, technically, I can't go to a wedding if I've not got an invite. So how can I go to a wedding? So how are you doing, Kay? So, suddenly, remember, I've not posted an invite. So take, look, if it, wait, people, how, right, people in the comments, how can I go to a wedding if I've not got an invite? Cuisine. How can I go to a wedding if I've not got an invite? Come on, can I? Uh, I'm I'm on this. This. I can't get involved in Why should you come to a wedding when you ducked out the stag do? How can I go to a wedding, Des? How can I go to a wedding if you're not invited? Hey, sort him out. Sort him out. He ducked out the stag do. He ducked out the stag do. Stag do. Here we go. Here oh. we go. <laughs> 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 right, well, gonna... Des. Where's my invite? I gave my address. Where is my invite? Um, well, I'm just gonna go, go, go through his comments as well. Um, as well, in the world football, teams have won the league in the year after promotion, so it's possible but not unlikely. 
Oh, that's a ma- that is a massive. It is massive. Like I said, why is it interesting, though? I was looking. I was looking at the odds. Of I've looked at the odds over a period of time, and I know it don't mean a great. deal. It does mean something, but it doesn't. When we got, when we first got promoted, we was ten to one to finish in the top ten. Yeah. Today, we're seven to one. Seven so, to one. Seven to one. So the book is a uh, kind of getting behind Forest. We're starting to believe that. We was eight to eleven to get relegated, which is odds on, and now we're evens to get relegated. So again, they're, they're seeing what's happening and thinking, "Wow, that you know we've got a, Forest have got a chance." They, they obviously like what they see, and they're not always right, but a lot of the time the bookies are always right, aren't they? Exactly, exactly. Right, we're going. Thank you everyone for taking part. The hundred and sixty-eight people that's come to watch the the. Last stream about a new sign, Nico Williams. Great signing. And if you're watching this, watching this back in the comment below, if there's any Liverpool fans watching this, how do you feel about Nico Williams as well? Um, tomorrow, as you know, me and Mr. Do Daily, we're going to Burton tomorrow to see Forest against Burton. Um, I'm going to Barnsley. I'm going to we're back at Burton again, get to for Berlin. And then I'm on the plane to Germany to see you to Berlin. So I'm excited, cannot wait. And we've got, who, who we got after? We've got Notch County as well, haven't we? County and Valencia. Yeah, I'm not going to Valencia because going to this, this mugs. Another, another one is having, aren't you, Des? What's that? Well, what, 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 we're, not, we're not going to the Valencia game, are we? That's the stag do, isn't it? Yeah, it's the stag do. See, where's my invite? I'm not going to invite at all. So this is shocking behaviour from Mr. Do Daily. Are well, you going to the Valencia game? Huh? Dor can't go to the Valencia game, because him because he's working apparently. No, 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 the Valencia game. I'm coming. Exactly. When you said you couldn't come to the stag do, I'm coming to the Valencia. I'm coming to your stag do. Where are we going? Get on with it. <laughs> this guy's such a bellend. But make sure everyone subscribes to Do Daily as well. It's linked in the description because I want des- if, if, people to comment. Have you subscribed to Do Daily yet? Please get get him to what you on Des. Um, six four five. Just go and watch that vlog. People, go and watch the vlog. Do daily. It's, it's a good, good vlog. Down. It's more of an extended version to what I put out on my channel. But go and watch it. Like he's interviewed a country fan, a Fulham fan, and as well there's another other fan, Scottish fan as well. So please go on after the stream. Go on, watch that. That and as well, subscribe to Do Daily. Um. I've got 79 likes. If you can, before you do go, hit the like button. I'm on 79 likes. Get me to 100 likes before the stream goes as well, people. Um, but yeah, it's been a great show. Fantastic. Like I said, me and, me and Dez, after, Dez, where are you sitting tomorrow? After, we're, we're about to you tomorrow. I got my tickets. Um, my tickets have arrived today, look. So are you behind the goal? The Russell Roof Tile Stand. That's behind the goal, then. I think that's where... Gary, is that where we're sitting, Gary? Gary knows. I don't, I don't know. It's the muscle roof, so there's tickets. Football tickets again. <laughs> uh, right, right. I've just seen this key. Right, door. Show us your false title. I am getting it before the season, the season starts. The bet's a bet. I am going to do it. There's one near, um, near us, so I am going to get the false tattoo as well. So people, I'm nervous, but it's a bet. So I am doing it. Um, Gary says, yeah, we are by the goal, same as you, Des. So Gary, can we stay, can we stay clear from Des, please, if that's... If that's all right, please. Right, <laughs> people, thank you everyone for watching. Kwasim, thank you to, for um, coming to the stream. I'm not saying thank you to this fellow because he's annoying already. Um, oh, nice guys, thanks. And as well, people, go and follow uh, Kwasim and follow Des on, on Twitter as well. M- 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 I want everyone to grow. The vlogs are back. The vlogs are back tomorrow. I'm excited. I can't wait. Um, I'm buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. Tomorrow, like I said, I'm on the. The, the Burton vlog that'll be out Wednesday at six o'clock. So please go and watch that. Uh, Barnsley on Saturday. And a bit more. Me and Des or whoever went to Burton game, we'll talk about Burton game. We'll talk about that. Might, that might be a Thursday. A Thursday. So if you can, people. Oh no, I think I'm in London. So actually, I, I'll try and plan it. Or yes, people, make sure everyone subscribe to me. Make sure everyone subscribe to Des. Peace and love. And I'll see you at Burton tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Of the forest. <laughs>